Mm -hmm. So focusing on your value is clearly top of the list when it comes to the things people at that level need to know to go after and land their next great role. What else, Sandra, and this is in the spirit of sort of closing remarks, we're coming up against our 40 minute mark. What else do you wish senior level people knew about search that they demonstrate to you <laughs> day after day they clearly do not that would really make them more successful and actually less less stress and and feel better about where they're going well it is the same thing that is the whole reason i came to work for execunet in the first place and it's the reason i wanted to leave headhunting uh, i didn't like chasing after the same people everybody else was after and and you know there's there's of course a lot of things that if you just knew a few things but i think the 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 number one message that i want to communicate to the world and 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 i'm just going to keep working at it until everybody gets the message is don't wait until you're looking for a job to look for a job when you're at the executive level the opportunities are few and far between. And anybody who tells you that, oh, pay us a certain amount of money and we'll find you a job, that's just completely bull because you can't make jobs appear. They will a lot of times appear for you when you're not looking. Now, not only does that happen, but your ability to capture that opportunity even has a better optimization when you're not looking. It's like the not being desperate thing. And the people that I've seen throughout their whole careers that are always in demand, no matter what happens, they're always the ones that land on their feet. They're always the one that all the headhunters are chasing are the ones that have always had that always be ready mentality always have a, a recruiter resume to go when somebody reaches out to you. Always know what your value proposition is ahead of time. Always be ready for those conversations. Always be ready for that opportunity and never, ever, ever take your eyeball off somebody approaching you with, the op with an opportunity ever again. Terrific. Sandra, thank you as always for making time for sharing your insight. Thank you to everyone who tuned in today and for the questions and those of you who emailed them who cannot hear me and didn't make the call, I, I appreciate you as well. So if you haven't, one last thought, if you have never had the privilege of working with Sandra or anyone else in our team of strategists and coaches, take advantage of this moment, chat into us. There are a few minutes left as I, as I close out here. And let us know by sending in your, your address and if you wanna share a word to about yourselves that you're, you're intrigued enough to want to do this right and work with someone who really understands people at your level. I mean, if you take away anything from today's talk, it's Sandra gets you. <laughs> she knows what you're going through and she's worked with so many who have struggled and everyone's got in some ways their own unique situation. And I think our team really does an amazing job of, of drilling down into those areas where we can then see what you cannot see. I think that's the nature of expertise, noticing something that others just didn't notice. So let's, let's take some stock in that. And um, if you're earning at that level and you just wanna start a conversation with us, let us know and we'll, we'll set you up. With that, thank you, Sandra, again. Thank you all and tune in for the next one. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.